Yo, man, Blue Lake Cab Show, Real 92.3. One of the hottest dudes out right now. My guy got an amazing body of work. Thank you, thank you. Four bats is in the building. Let's get Four it. Four bats is in the building. What up, what up, what up? Man, I'm chilling, brother. First of all, congrats on all your success, man. Thank You're putting you. out quality, quality shit in 2024. So anytime you. you're doing... Hey, when are you taking the mask off, though? Yeah, I was about to ask. Hey, listen, I, it be off. Y'all ain't seen my show, I seen the freestyles and shit, but I'm saying, like... Y'all ain't, y'all ain't, you ain't feel like... It's hot right now. That's my hot. thing. It's summertime. I'm sweating more than beating I mean, I mean you know what's weird, bro? I don't know if I'm sick or what, but I'm I'm, I'm not hot. Like, I feel actually better with the bitch on. Like, you can't go to Arizona. Arizona and wear that in the summer, bro. I hear nah. You'll be if fucked you, up. If you go see my Arizona, uh, when I when I did shit in Arizona, I didn't have you my skin on. on. Nah, right, yeah, yeah I didn't sure. have that shit on. Um, how you feeling though, man? I'm feeling good. It's your first like BET Award weekend where you're like somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. are you feeling like, like my first shit? Pure. I ain't never been in no BET ever. You know what I'm saying? I used to always watch it from the from the blind side, from the TV. You know, so wow. Yeah. Help me understand, man, because your sound is so like I always gravitate towards people where I'm like, man, I don't even they don't sound like nobody. Uh uh-uh. uh. Like it's a one of one. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And Thank so you. your I don't know if it's the way you record, because you know, twenty four hours is my boy. Yeah. And he records at my studio. Yeah. So he has the way he pitches his shit. Uh-huh. Right? Are you doing something similar where you'll lay the vocals down, but it's a way you lay them down to where the engineer has to know how to record you? Mm-hmm. Because the first time we heard you talk, motherfuckers was like... You, you know what's crazy? I happen to be my own engineer, so... You know what I'm saying? I, you engineer yourself? Yeah, I record my own music. I record all that, that tape you heard, yeah. I recorded all that shit myself. Um, bro. Merch. Like, Beta I, 8, recorded that shit myself. You know what I'm saying? On what, though? Like, at the FL, crib? FL, FL Studio. You recorded, you track vocals in Fruity Loops? Wow. You're a maniac. I just put somebody on game. Shout out to you. <laughs> what mic you use? Uh, Give me a uh, second. Audio, audio Technica uh, Audio Technica 2020. Wow. What about your interface? A boat. It's crazy, too, because I just want everybody to know there's no excuse for y'all. Yeah, that's a, that's a $90 uh, microphone. Yeah. That's a, that's a $90 microphone. That's what I'm saying. There's no excuse. No excuse. People be like, man, Blast is, you know, Blast, Blast the same way. He recorded all his own shit on a $100 mic. Yeah. And platinum records. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and when I recorded Day 8, I recorded that shit with a sock on the mic. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> In the living room. Was it a clean sock at least? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> it better be a clean sock. I <laughs> hope it, just I say hope it there, was. So. I can't even. Look. <laughs> you got a fuck your ass sock, right? Come on, what are we doing? <laughs> nah, it's just that. <laughs> but now, but like, record that shit in the living room, you know what I'm saying? To the point where I was in my mama's living room, where like, I had to stop recording sometime because she probably arguing with her husband, so I got to stop recording a little bit. Oh, mom's like, like hell you know, yeah. I got I'm trying to record a platinum song this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. You know, but at that time, you know, I don't know what's platinum or not. I don't know what's good or not. When, Still to this day, I don't know what's good or not. But. When um, you finally got some real traction with the music shit, what was mom's thoughts? She already knew. She already knew. Yeah. I used to walk in her room every day, her merch. I used to walk in her room every single day. And I used to knock on her door and I used to be like, um, my mama star. Every day. Wow. Every single day. To the point where I feel like I used to piss her off because everything she would say, like, go to college, do this. I'm not going to college. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing some shit that I ain't, there's no you know B, what I'm saying? There's no plan B. Yeah, yeah, I don't got no plan B. If, yeah. if this shit don't work, then I ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you are so unique, man, but at the same time, we all have influences. We all grow up listening to artists. Like, who who, who were some of the artists that you, you feel like you kind of, like, took from? And I mean that in, like, an obviously respect. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So many. Mint Condition. Ace Town. You know what I'm saying? Dino. Got me, uh, got them 112. Cut Close. Y'all can go for Yo, hours. Yo, 112? Yeah. I can go for hours. 112 is, to me, the... And like again, this. Hold on, era. hold on now, hold on now. You finna say the best? I'm gonna say, in, in this my era. Okay. Cause I'm bo- I'm born in '87, so like okay. all the mint condition and all that shit. That was fucking three, four, five. But I was in my formative years. Right. Like 112. 112. Was popping. I got 112 as a, the, in my personal. So, so you got 112 over Jagged Edge? Yes, definitively. I actually got Drew Hill over Jagged Edge. I can see that a little bit. But what the R&B group shit, man? I wish that it, I, there's not enough money to pass around anymore, bro. Yeah. Like to split it five ways. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's nasty. Yeah. That shit nasty. Um, look, man, I, I know you're working a lot, so I, I know that the, this mixtape is just the scratching the surface. I know you got to be coming with something else soon. Oh, what? Sooner than later. Yeah. Fuck around, might be tomorrow. Might be tomorrow. <laughs> 
Yeah, sooner than later. We know some of the OGs, you know, in, in, in the headlines who have reached out to you, but was there someone who was very random who kind of like maybe DM'd you? And you know, we know about the Kanye's, the Drake's, all that, but like someone random where you were like, oh shit. Whether it was like maybe a basketball player, an actor, or just an artist that you really wouldn't have expected to have been like hip to what you had going on. Um, I'm trying to remember what's that. I think McGee, uh, McGee. Uh, JaVale McGee? JaVale McGee had uh, followed me. Well, you know, he makes beats. I didn't know that. He's a sick producer. I didn't know that. We probably can get JaVale one JaVale McGee's hard, bro. Yeah, I didn't know that. For sure, brother. Well, I look, man, I, I appreciate the music you're making, bro. Thank you. Yeah. I got this fire. What was the inspiration behind uh, the tour name? Was it like trying to take a shot at your ex? Thank you, Jada. Yeah. What was, or was it like trying to show man. love for real? Hey, huh, fuck that bitch. There you go. <laughs> And for people who don't know, like, I ain't know if you were showing love. Like, the interludes listen, on your album are very. But listen though, but listen though, but listen, I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying thank you, Jada, as in like thank you for helping me get to where I'm at. Right. You know what I'm saying because obviously. Did she cheat on you? She did. Um, wow. You know what I'm saying she cheated on me with a barber. With a barber? With a barber. A barber. You know what I'm saying? But it's all cool though because. She inspired. Yeah, this, this, yeah. You, had, you turned album, that into success. If you listen to the album, it's very evident that there's, yeah. there's skits. And, right. But has she said sorry? She sent me a long ass paragraph. Did she say, "Yo, man, I don't appreciate"? I didn't read that, that shit though. I didn't hey, read hey, that you shit though. I ain't gonna you lie. in a good space right now? Don't go I back. I, but I seen a long ass paragraph. I'm like, yo, man, listen, you know, I don't like reading, like. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, I feel you. What I'm gonna do with that? Especially. Well, at least you know she, if she ever needed a cut, she could always get one now. That's what I'm saying. But she, at least she, you know what I'm saying? She got maybe she need a cut. She, maybe she need to start it over. You know when females be like cutting their hair off? Yeah, yeah. She maybe needs to go full Amber a new Rose. path and shit. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. That's what she probably needs to do. Go for it. Do you guys have mutual friends in life where you, you're like they like hit you like, damn, that tour name's cold, bruh? Yeah, I'll, so so so, I'll we had a little friend group going on. So everybody in the friend group. They kind of like stopped really being cool with her after she did how she did after she played her cards, but like all them niggas when they heard the when they seen the her on the cover, you know what I'm saying? Like and and then they seen the fucking uh they seen the little shit with her what, what the thank you Jada and yeah. shit. And they was like, bro, you insane! Like yeah, crazy bastard. Yeah, you you insane. But but she she deserved that shit. How That's did how saying. did you catch her? What you mean? Like how did you catch her up? How did I get, get like? Like, how did you find out she was cheating? Oh, damn! Y'all finna bring me back. Y'all want me crying this motherfucker, oh, oh, man? man. Not just playing, but uh, how I found out she was cheating actually from her. From she, him, he told you. The from part? her, from, oh, her. from her, she oh, told her. you. Yeah, she told me like, you know how girls will say slick shit, but like don't say it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? She happened to like come up, be talking so much, end up saying some shit. I'm like, what the fuck you just say? She like, um, nah, it don't. It's not that. Then I booked the flight. I know the story. I booked the flight. I'm finna see the girl. She called my phone, talking about I don't want to be with you no more. I'm like, what the fuck you mean you don't want to be with me no more? She's like, nah, I, I just don't want to be with you no more. Um, I, I'm, I'm not happy. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit going on. Right. The whole time, I got a lot of shit going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Recently, at that moment, at that time, my, my pops died. Oh, you know what oh, I'm saying? So I she left you my, at a bad time? Yes, Damn. I lost my father. So, like, I'm all, I'm on crash all the time. Right. Like, I'm mad as shit. Then I said, you know what? If you leave right now, if you leave me right now, I'm a book of, I'm a, I'm not book a fight. I'm a blow the fuck up. I'm a, I'm a shit on you. I'm a, on every interview, on everything. I'm a turn the fuck up. And she was like, nigga, I'm not worried about you. Da da da. So we no. hung up the phone. Three days later, she popped out with the barber nigga. Damn. Mm. That ain't hey, cheating. Look, you kept your word. You shut. You, hey man. You know I'm saying like that I'm ain't. Jada, man. <laughs> Listen. And fuck the barber, dog. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, he ain't fuck the barber, he, he though. He cried trash, bro. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't fuck the barber. Matter of fact, he did my line up. He, I, my I, line up messed listen, up right hey, now. Hey, the barber, she cheated. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he did, did mine. Man, he probably did do your shit. Yeah, yeah probably so. Hey, man, congrats on the success, bro. Keep making that good shit, brother, for sure. I appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. Four bats. Boom.